Hello friends, welcome back to SA204 Lab 2, Exercise 2. So here we will create a function app that is triggered by an HTTP request. Okay. So here is lab scenario and here is Exercise 2, create a function that is triggered by an HTTP request. So let's go back to the URL. Okay, so we are here, I'll go to the Exercise 2 create a function that is triggered by an HTTP request. Okay, what it says, task one is to create an HTTP triggered function. So we need to go to the resource group, select serverless, then go to your function app. And from the app service blad, select functions, options from the functions section and click on it. Okay, so just follow me here. So, okay, let's go, go to resource group, serverless, and here is our function app then from functions here we need to click on add it's taking some time okay so here you can see there are different triggers available or templates available to create functions so create a new function in this function app start by selecting a template so you can create different type of function i mean based on the trigger type so click on add now in the new function pop up dialog within templates select select http trigger and within the details tab find the new function text box then enter echo okay so now we need to create a new function, HTTP trigger based function. We need to name it as echo and the access level is going to be anonymous. Let's go here, HTTP trigger, trigger name, function name should be echo and authorization level is anonymous. Click on create function. See how simple it is, right? That we just now created a HTTP trigger based function create function done now next steps to write function code so in the function blade select code plus test from the developer section okay now let's go here here is code plus test under developer section so here is a default code from the template now it says find the example run.csx from a script okay so this is our run.csx delete all the example code okay and add the following line of code to implement the microsoft.asp netcore.mvc mvc namespace so we need to delete everything and we need to add these two imports okay let's go i'll just delete everything from here i'll first add the first one mvc second we need to add using system.net namespace so i'll just paste this one here add the following code block to create a new public static method named run that returns a variable of type i action result okay and that also takes a variable of type http request and i logger as a parameter name perfect so let's copy this one so if you see this is our new function called run here is the written type and here are the here are the input parameters now in the run method go and add this logger just need to copy here it says log dot log information it received a request okay now this is what we are supposed to return out of this run method return new ok object result request body observe the run dot csx file it should look like this click on save now we need to test so we'll first go we'll see the method first so here we imported two namespace one is microsoft.aspnetcore.mvc and system.net and here is our run method here is the returning type and it's taking two input and here we are just printing a message saying request received a request and this is the response return i'll simply click on save now we need to test this particular function okay so now task 3 is to test function run in the portal select test slash run 
in the pop-up dialog that appears perform the following actions in the input tab in the body text enter the following json okay let's copy this one let's go and test this function so if you see here we have a tab called test run and in the message body here just put the message it says hello world now let's click on run okay now let's see what is expected output tab observe the result of the test run the result should echo original request body exactly okay so here you can see this is whatever we have entered in the message body the json right so 200 response code is okay so we are good okay so that's it for the task 3 task 4 says get a base function url so in the azure portal navigation panel select the resource group link go go to resource group server less and then on the server less, server less blade select the function logic app okay on the app service blade copy the url copy the value of url textbook so basically we need to copy the url of our function app okay let's go to resource group then server list look for the function app it's here function logic and we need to copy the url which is here okay so we are done with the task 4 task 5 says test function run by using http wrapper so we'll complete the task 5 in the next video because we need to install some tools here we first of all we need to have dotnet core sdk then we also need to have http repl installed then only we can test our function app so that will cover in the next video bye for now i'll catch you in the next video